Hey guys, it's Janiksa, and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the latest release from Mooncat. This is their Songs of Sirens collection, and it consists of nine beautiful polishes. These polishes are available right now on the Mooncat website. Mooncat did send these to me in PR to review for you, so thank you very much to Mooncat for sending these my way. Nine polishes to look at. Let's go ahead and get right into the swatches. First up, we have Maelstrom, and this is a gorgeous, flaky polish. This looks beautiful, so like the ocean or scales. I don't know. It's just absolutely stunning. It does have a bit of a jelly formula. On the first coat, it is going to be a bit more sheer, but I did get opacity in two coats. Michelle, the owner of Mooncat, did say that she had created this shade as a gift exclusively for the Mooncat team. And they just loved it so much that they decided they needed to release it to the public. And I'm so glad that they did because this is absolutely stunning. Next up, we have Am I Everything You Fear? And, ooh, this is beautiful. I get Spirit Fingers vibes from this one. Spirit Fingers is from the brand Hollow Taco. It's not the same. This base is like more blue, but that shimmer is similar. I loved this one, and I feel like this one is going to be very popular. The formula was amazing. Complete opacity in two coats. I'm so sorry. I do not have official descriptions for these, but oh, look at how beautiful this is. I loved this one very much too. Next up, we have a Most Destructive Melody, and this one is a multi-chrome. There's multi-chrome pigment in there, and I absolutely adore it. Here in my swatch footage, I couldn't capture the shift. The light just, I don't know, it just wasn't letting me capture it. But when I moved my hand away from the light, oh geez, I should have gotten a video of that, duh. Next time, <laughs> I was able to see the shift and it's beautiful. I got opacity in two coats for this one. The formula is really good, really easy to use, and nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove. You can see I was wiggling my fingers there trying to catch the shift, but unfortunately I just couldn't. Next up, we have The Siren's Revenge, and this one is probably my least favorite of the collection. I don't know. It's just the color is not really my thing. It is a little bit on the sheer side on the first coat. On the second coat, I thought that I had opacity, and I'm still kind of on the fence about it, to be honest. I feel like maybe I should have added a third coat. However, formula was excellent. There's nothing wrong with this polish at all. This is just a matter of personal preference. Mm, but then again, look, I'm looking at it now on the screen, and I'm thinking, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I, I can't quite make my mind up about this one. Next up, we have Treachery in the blue, and this one is a thermal, you guys. This one goes from this dark, like, navy blue, and it transforms into pretty much a clear polish. It looks really, really cool. I couldn't capture it during the live swatches, but I have a photo for you at the end, and I like it. I, I, you know, I need to wear my thermals more often. I don't wear them as often as I would like, and I don't know why. I, I, I need to bust out these Mooncat thermals because they are so pretty, and the formula is excellent on this one also. It also has like little, um, little tiny micro flakes in there, so pretty cool. Next up, we have Dark Omens, and this one is also a thermal, so there are two thermals in this collection, and it goes from this really dark mm, purple color, yeah, it's like a very, very dark purpley gray, 
to a beautiful lighter purple. So it's really, really a nice shade. It's kind of like a perfect shade when you cannot decide if you want a dark or a light polish. You can have both with this one. The formula, amazing, absolutely great formula, no issues whatsoever. If you're wondering how to make a thermal polish last longer, you can actually put them in your refrigerator and that will keep them from dying too soon. Sometimes thermal polishes die and don't transition. So yeah, keep that in mind. Next up we have Ghost Ship and this is a magnetic. This one is really beautiful. I am loving the purple, absolutely gorgeous. Great formula, no issues whatsoever with the formula. I got complete opacity in two coats and I am just going to magnetize my ring finger here for time's sake. I usually do three coats for the nail that I'm magnetizing, but I didn't do it this time and I don't even think that I needed it. The opacity, look at how dark purple it got after I magnetized, so that is gorgeous. And yeah, I didn't need a third coat for this. Next up is the Sea Between Us, and this is another flaky jelly, and ooh, this is beautiful. It, it also has a bit of like scattered hollow in there, absolutely stunning. This one is sheerer than the first one that we saw, the first flaky, um, but I, again, got opacity in two coats, or maybe not full opacity, but the flakies distracted very much from the nail line, so I didn't feel the need for a third coat. But if you have much longer nails, then you might want to add a third coat. It's really just going to depend on your personal preference. And last but not least, we have Quicksands Embrace, and this one is a beautiful linear holographic, but it is also a magnetic. It is really sheer on the first coat. Look at that. It is pretty much the same color of my skin tone, so very, very sheer. I was surprised at that. I thought it was going to be a little bit more opaque. I did get opacity in two coats, but... I don't know, I, I think I'm getting kind of mannequin hands here. It just does, does look very much like my skin tone. I love the color, it's beautiful, and the formula's amazing. But yeah, I just don't think it suits my skin tone very much. And look at how beautiful when you magnetize. Again, I only had to do two coats for that nail that I magnetized. And here we have the entire Mooncat Songs of Sirens collection. What did you guys think of these? I thought this collection was stunning. When I first got the email um, for PR, I saw the pictures and woo, I was like, ooh, I need that collection. That is gorgeous. I'm so happy I have these. The formulas are all amazing. Right now, I'm letting my nails grow out some and I'm excited to put some of these on my nails when they're longer because I feel like they'll just look so much more beautiful on longer nails. So overall, for me, I loved this collection. It's beautiful. Yeah, Mooncat just never misses. <laughs> they always do such a great job, and they definitely have done an amazing job here. Like I mentioned in the intro, this collection is available right now on the Mooncat website. I will, of course, have the website linked down in the description box below for you. All right, guys, be sure to let me know your thoughts on this collection down in the comments. I love to hear from you and let me know if you're going to pick any of them up. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.